Are you tired of running back to town every two days when you're camping to get ice? Or worse yet, thinking that you might have to spend several hundred dollars to get a cooler that will keep your food cold for a week while you're traveling? This series, Classic Campfire Cuisine, is designed for you. So stick around and watch what we've got for you today. We're going to show you how to eat well on the road using shelf stable items and saving precious cooler space for only those items that need it. Welcome back to Dickin' Around Outdoors. Thank you for all those subscribers. It's good to see you again. On today's classic campfire cuisine, we are going to make a tamale pie. We're going to do that in a 10 inch lodge deep Dutch oven. But before we get started, please click the subscribe button down below. We've got the charcoal lit, it's getting ready to cook. So let's give a quick rundown of the ingredients that we're gonna to use today. The ingredients we're gonna to use today for the tamale pie is ground beef, an onion, grated cheddar cheese, a green pepper, two cans of tomato sauce, a can of corn. In this case, we're using Southwest style with poblano and red peppers. We have some chopped black olives, a spice mix of chili powder, salt, and sugar. We're going to use granulated garlic, and we're gonna to top that with cornbread. So for the cornbread, we're gonna use a box of Jiffy Mix. We're gonna use some powdered milk and an egg. Oven is on the coals, getting hot. So let's start chopping. So to make the tamale pie, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop our vegetables. Then we're gonna simmer the hamburger, the onion and the green pepper until the hamburger is browned and the vegetables are softened. Then we just toss in the rest of our ingredients, except for the cheese and the cornbread, and simmer that for say 20, 25 minutes. Once that's done, we're gonna mix the cheese in, let that melt in, and then we're going to uh, add the cornbread on top. We're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna bake that until the cornbread is done. I think you're gonna like this recipe. I think it's gonna look really good and I guarantee you it's gonna taste better. We've got the hamburger, the onion, and the green pepper in. They're starting to brown. We're gonna let that go till the hamburger's browned well, the onions and the peppers are soft. One thing I will say, when you are sauteing in a Dutch oven, don't be shy about the charcoal on the bottom. You're gonna need a pretty good amount on the bottom to get this pan hot enough to saute. The hamburger, the onions, peppers are close. So we're getting ready to put the other ingredients in. As I mentioned earlier, we're using granulated garlic. We love this, we use it all the time, it travels well. One thing to be aware of though, when you use this, since there are acidic ingredients in this dish, the tomatoes, they do recommend that you rehydrate this in water before you actually add it to the pan. Spices are in, we're just gonna give that a quick stir before we add the other ingredients. And I promise you that this dish was simple. So the next steps, incredibly easy. Dump in the can of corn. Dump in two cans of tomato sauce. And I know that some of you will cringe seeing me put tomato sauce into the Dutch oven. And yes, acidic ingredients can eat away at the seasoning. Luckily, uh, when you have a really well seasoned Dutch oven, that becomes less of an issue. And if you do remove some seasoning, don't fret. You can always build it back up. So it's not the end of the world if it does strip away a little seasoning. Now we're just gonna bring this to a simmer and let this simmer away 20 to 25 minutes. We are going to stir it on occasion to make sure that it doesn't burn on the bottom. We're five minutes away from putting the cheese in, letting that start to melt. Um, I want to mix up the cornbread, let that sit, let it rise for a few minutes. Wanted to show you real quick these little um, bowls that we're using today. They're from a company called Collapse It, and they're a silicone bowl that actually collapses down, hence the name. 
uh, makes it very easy and space efficient to carry the bowls. And when you need them, you just pop them out. Uh, they come with a lid that has a valve in it. And when you put the lid on and close the valve, they won't leak. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. They come in multiple sizes, up to six cups. So I just, I like to take these camping because they're space efficient and they're pretty handy. Um, also, I wanted to talk real quick. I told you that we're using dried milk today. And as I mentioned, this series, this classic campfire cuisine is all about how to use shelf stable items, how to save space in your cooler. Because again, you, you want to have more ice and less food in the cooler if you can. You don't want to be running back to town all the time to get more ice. And you don't necessarily want to spend several hundred dollars on a new cooler that lasts longer. Um, you'd rather have a smaller cooler, takes up less space and more food. So what we found is this powdered milk is excellent for that. You just mix it up. Everyone has water when they're camping. You just mix up the amount you need when you need it and go with that. So I think that's a really excellent way to save some space and some cooler space, particularly when you're camping. Let's mix up the cornbread. In a couple minutes, we'll get the cheese in and then we'll uh, keep cooking. We have been simmering now for 20 minutes. It's time to mix the cheese in. As I mentioned earlier, today we're using a sharp cheddar. This is actually a sharp cheddar that we smoked at the house. So we're gonna stir that in, let that melt down. Once this is melted in nicely, then we're gonna put the cornbread on top, put the lid on and bake the cornbread. Once we put the cornbread in, we are gonna rearrange the coals at this point, we have way too many coals in the bottom to actually bake with. So we're going to move most of the coals from the bottom to the top and then bake the cornbread. Okay, we're gonna spoon the cornbread over the top. And once we do this, as I said, we're gonna put the lid on. I've removed the uh, quite a few of the coals from the bottom. We've got six down there now to cook the cornbread. We're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna put 14 on the top and we're gonna let the cornbread cook for 15, 20 minutes. See how it looks. Also, we are going to rotate the oven. Don't forget that when you're cooking over coals, it's an inexact science. So you need to rotate the oven to make sure that the heat around the oven is consistent. We're 25 minutes in. Uh, we did load the top of the oven. Cornbread required 400 degrees. As I said in previous videos, anytime you're using a Dutch oven and charcoal or fire coals, it's a guess. So you use your best estimate on what you're getting. But we're 25 minutes in. I have rotated the oven every five minutes or so. Oh, buddy, does that look good. You can see the cornbread is nice and brown. Around the edges, we see a nice bubbling of the filling. Uh, this is gonna be fantastic. A couple breakthroughs there where it came through the cornbread, but I can't wait to give this one a try. So we're just gonna take this off the coals for a few minutes, let it cool down before we cut into it. I first had tamale pie when I lived in Oklahoma. And the recipe that we use today uses three teaspoons of chili powder. You may find that just right. You may not find it hot enough. One thing we carry with us if we don't find our food quite hot enough, is what we call jalapeno dust. This is essentially jalapenos that we dehydrate at home, and then we grind them up in a spice grinder and just spoon those over food to add a little bit of flavor and a little bit of heat. Uh -huh. So I think this is something that uh, if you have a dehydrator, you should check it out. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to all of our subscribers. We really appreciate it. We're glad that you find the content interesting. Stick with us because on the next episode of Classic Campfire Cuisine, we're going to make a doozy of a classic recipe. Thanks again. Please hit the subscribe button. Take care. We'll see you next time. I'm going to dig in.